Hi, guys. What do we have today? Here we have predictions for today's 5 NBA games. Let's get started. Milwaukee Bucks and Indiana Pacers. The Bucks are in pretty decent form, having won 9 of their past 14 games, and they will be looking for their third consecutive victory tonight. The Pacers have lost 8 of their previous 9 games and are in terrible shape. The Bucks have played decent on the road this season. They have won 12 and covered the spread only in 9 of their 24 road games. Recently, the Bucks have only won and covered the spread 5 times in their previous 12 away games. The Pacers shine on their home court. This season they have won 16 of their 25 home games and covered the spread 17 times. The Pacers have recently been very dominant at home. They have won and covered the spread in 7 of their last 9 home games. Head to head, the Bucks have won 4 of their previous 5 games against the Pacers in Indiana, covering the spread 3 times. The Bucks aren't playing well, but they're winning. They are unquestionably the better team here, but they did not look well in their last game against the banged up Nuggets. TJ. McConnell appears to be making excellent use of his minutes in Halliburton's absence. I believe the Bucks will win here, but not easily. Play Indiana Pacers plus 9. Memphis Grizzlies and Minnesota Timberwolves. The Grizzlies have slowed significantly since their 11-game winning streak, as they look to stop a four-game losing streak tonight. The Timberwolves are on a roll, having won 9 of their past 13 games. The Grizzlies are not a very good road team. This season they triumphed in 11 of their 25 away games while covering the spread in only 9. They've recently dropped 4 straight road games while covering the spread in one of them. This season, the Timberwolves have looked good at home. They have won 16 of their last 26 games at home while covering the spread in 13. Recently the Timberwolves haven't been playing their best on their home court. They've won 2 of their last 5 home games while covering the spread in 3 of them. Head to head, the Grizzlies split their last 6 games against the Timberwolves in Minnesota while covering the spread in 3 of those 6 games. This is the third game between those two teams this season. In the previous two games, both teams won once at home. Right now, neither team is performing at its peak. I do not doubt that this game will be challenging for both sides, and the winner will be determined in the last seconds of play, perhaps even in overtime. It's difficult to predict the winning team here, but I expect a low-scoring game here, which should give the Grizzlies an advantage because they are a much stronger defensive team than their opponent tonight. Play Memphis Grizzlies minus 2. Orlando Magic and Miami Heat. The Magic have been playing well lately, winning three of their past four matches, and they'll be going for a third consecutive win in this matchup. The Heat, who have won six of their past eight games, have been in pretty good form, and they will be looking for a third consecutive victory tonight. The Magic have one of the worst road records in the league this season. This season, they won only six of their 23 road games. The Magic have recently been playing way better on the road. They've won 5 of their last 11 road games while covering the spread in 8 of those 11. Since the beginning of the season, the Heat have excelled at home. In their previous 25 home games, they have won 16, but just 8 of those 25 games have been against the spread. Recently, they've won 7 of their previous 8 home games, but just 5 of those victories saw them beat the spread. Head to head, the Magic have covered the spread 6 times in the last 8 games they played against the Heat in Miami. The Magic now look and play like a team that can even make the playoffs this year, and they are healthy, as they have not been in the last five seasons. Since the start of the season, the Heat has struggled with many key player injuries, but it appears that problem is finally behind them. One of the league's top basketball is presently being played by them. Although the Heat are the better team in this game, the line is too high. Play Orlando Magic plus 8. Cleveland Cavaliers and Oklahoma City Thunder. The Cavaliers are on a back-to-back -back including travel. They have been playing fines and splitting their previous 10 games. The Thunder had been in good form, winning 7 of their last 10 games. The Cavaliers have struggled in away games. Only 10 of the 25 road games they played this season saw them win and cover the spread. Recently, the Cavaliers have won 3 and covered the spread in 4 of their previous 7 road games. This season the Cavaliers are playing great in back-to-back -back games. They have won 5 of their 7 back-to-backs this season. The Thunder have performed well at home this season. They have won 14 and covered the spread in 15 of their 24 home games. In the recent games, they have won 9 out of their previous 14 home games while covering the spread in 10 of those games. 
head-to-head -head in the last five games between those two teams in Oklahoma City. The Cavaliers won two times while covering the spread in four of those five. In addition to the fact that they won't likely have Donovan Mitchell in today's game, and this is their back-to-back -back game, the Cavaliers are not a very good road team. At this moment, the Thunder are the better team on both ends of the court here. I am convinced this will be a much easier match for them than I'll expect. Play Oklahoma City Thunder plus 1. Toronto Raptors and Golden State Warriors. Since they've won 6 of their previous 10 games, the Raptors have been in pretty decent form, and they'll be going for a third consecutive win in this matchup. The Warriors have won 4 out of their last 7 games, showing they are in fine form. The Raptors struggle on the road. In their 22 road games this season, they have only won 7 while covering the spread in 10. Their recent road performance has improved significantly. They have won and covered the spread in 5 of their last 10 away games. The Warriors are one of the best home teams this season. They have triumphed in 18 of their 24 home games. They have recently won 6 of their last 10 home games despite only covering the spread 4 times in those 10 games. Head to head, the Raptors won in 4 of their last 6 games against the Warriors in Golden State while covering the spread in 3 of those 6. The Raptors are in excellent shape, as they showed in the last game against the Kings in Sacramento. The fact that they poorly defend the three-point shot, which the Warriors will undoubtedly deploy, might be an issue for them in this situation. I expect a very close game here, and the side that generates and capitalizes on more second-chance points will win this matchup. That's why I will give an advantage to the road team here. Play Toronto Raptors plus 6. Guys, that's all. Thanks for joining us today. See you tomorrow.